I need to work on my punchlines more. Work on jokes. Welcome back. <laughs> Can we join an improv club? I really do want to take improv classes. Is there any around here? I'm positive there are some. If anything, we could just uh, we could just take classes at our our alma mater in the theater department. Ugh! <laughs> And I have always secretly wanted to be in a play. That's why I did uh, one X. Yeah, but I like I don't, to. I didn't like any of the people that were in the theater department. I didn't either. It's okay. But you, but you are almost in one. I was almost in one, and the, like the people I was with are people that I were friends with. So, well, one of them at least. And yeah. now he's not my friend anymore. But hey, it was fun while, while it lasted. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe we can be in a. You know, our town has a has a theater. We could be in the the it's local. It's so easy to get into one of those, dude. <laughs> I know the I know the guy who runs all of it. Do you see? Uh, we see the same thing. Look like lightning. I know. It was a big like fucking shadow that just I what? saw phew, go across, dude. Was that was that payment? <laughs> That really was crazy. Watch it literally looked like lightning. You have to watch the walls and make sure. That was insane. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I think we could join a production of something. <sighs> it's just I don't... Like, I wouldn't ask... I wouldn't want anybody in my family to know about it. I would just yeah, want to do same. it. Because I just want to know what that process is like. It's so boring. I, you know, I was friends with some theater people, especially right. when I was dating one. Yeah, and same here. <laughs> oh yeah, and so you know, it's just like they make it a lot harder than it needs to be. Like, yeah. it I think we've gone over this before. It should not be as hard as they're making it. It's not that taxing. They just, just like to pretend that it's a uh, set aside time to read your script. Yeah, I feel like we're offending so many people right now. Oh, but for like, <laughs> sure, for sure we are. But it's just so hard to complain of like I have to memorize all of these lines. Like it's what? Like, we all have to memorize stuff, dude. It sounds like you're not you think, having you very think, much fun. Do you think I really wanted to memorize all of the transverse and muscles of the abdomen? No. Right. I learned all the different, you know, muscle types and shit, uh, and I learned, like, the inner workings of the ear. Yeah, I had to memorize stuff, too. Did I have to get up on stage and do it? No, that's a completely different beast. <laughs> it's not. But memorizing the stuff, that's not the hard part. It's like, I feel like if we had more... I don't know. I feel like if we had crea like if we had creative control with the play, I think we'd have a lot of fun with it. Oh yeah, because well, you know I wrote a like in our fine art theater class. I had to write a play. Yeah, you did, and I had to as well. But I don't remember what it was. But uh, oh yeah, you're talking about that one. Okay, yeah, the for your final project, you mean? Uh, yes. The yeah. one that like we had to write and perform. Yeah, that was amazing. It was really funny, I won't lie. The one day that I was in there where I had to observe y'all's brainstorming session, it went from... Originally, the only idea that was even <laughs> legible was... A, the sandwich. The sandwich? In, that was not what I was thinking of. I think oh. it evolved into the sandwich, but... You were thinking of... Beans, beans in a, a crock. crock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the How only, could I forget? The, the, you guys are trying to think of plot lines, and I don't remember if I said it or you said it, because I, I, th I remember really pushing the beans in a crock idea, even though I had no reason to be pushing it because I wasn't yeah. in y'all's group. Uh, but <laughs> I remember it just being almost a real thing that almost happened, and y'all were about to go with the plot line of there being beans in a crock. And the whole, it had to be, what, 10 minutes or something? Something like that. The whole 10 minutes, the main character, who is our friend Heath, was going to be confused, or you were the main character, I don't know. We are just trying to figure out why there was beans in his croc. His single croc, not pair of crocs, just his one, his croc, one croc that had, was just full of beans. I don't know, guys. Uh, <laughs> beans in a croc, or... That's literally a, <laughs> that's a video I have saved on my phone of just that day, and it's just a video of Heath just looking so stressed out, trying to figure out the plot for this play that's your final project in the class. He just says, I don't know, guys, um, beans in a crock or, um, <laughs> I like how also 
going back, we're going to keep talking about Heath in that class because there's one other big moment that I remember. Bleeding Love? Bleeding Love because he's obsessed with Leona Lewis. Um, Just that one song. Yeah, well, she has no other songs except for the cover of uh, the Snow Patrol song. Uh, do it no, all. No, it's, uh, it's called Run. It's... Oh. Uh, Wait, no, never mind. I was singing a Birdie song. Uh, that's Fly by Birdie. Um, oh, no, you're, you're thinking of and Fly. No, never mind. It's Wings by Birdie. That's Fly, that's fly by, by Nicki, Nicki Minaj. Minaj. Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Jinky. Jinky Jorp Jorp. Jimmy Jim Jorp. Jimmy Jim Jorp. That was it. Um, wow. We went through like 90 different references in a second. We're back. <laughs> Anyway, beans in a crock or... <laughs> <laughs> but there was a moment where we all had to come up with our own plot. Um, just like, I mean, like halfway through the semester. It was like this gimme project, but we split up into groups in the class and we had like a few minutes to come up with a hero. And you weren't allowed to be in our group technically because you were going to be gone during finals week. Yeah. So, so you had to do your own. I had yourself. to do my own project. I had to write, literally like write my own play. Yeah. Um, while you all had to actually act yours out. So, but this is like an early project where that was like just at the end of class. She's like, I want you to come up with the hero and I want you to come up with the villain and like a resolution. Just like pretty much going over a plot for a, a play. Yeah, it's just like a story arc. And we were in a, um, we were in a group with Heath and we're like, okay, this, we came up with something. I don't even remember what it was. Um, but we also had to have a spokesperson for who was going to tell everyone the plot and the hero or whatever. <laughs> like, oh, teach. Yeah, we, that's what we came up with, and we had this whole plot that made sense. And then Heath was the spokesperson, and I don't know if he just got under pressure. That's what it was, yeah. But he forgot—I guess he forgot all of the plot that we told him that we've been talking about for ten minutes. So easy, and he just said, "Um, the hero is um Heath, <laughs> and um the villain is also Heath." Yeah, and there's uh he's got to save the princess. Leona Lewis, because she's, um, bleeding love, and <laughs> that was it, and no one knew how to react, I remember, except for us, who we were like, Keith, none of what you yeah, just we said like, none was- none of that's right, I'm pretty sure I said none of that's right, yeah, uh, and we then did I just, like, just told her the that. real plot. <laughs> but it was just one of the most absurd moments I've ever seen of someone forgetting it so much. The play had to be, like, ten minutes long or something, and so- I remember that we were like, let's just do like half of a play and then the last half will just be us singing Bleeding Love. Yeah. It didn't work out. It did, that's not <laughs> even what it ended up being. <laughs> By the way, uh, Jorf finally got a move. He got Tackle. Oh, man. But as you can see, he's still super weak. He'll get there. Just give it time. Ratata. Uh, Ratata. Damn it. Yet again, give it time. Oh, I remember this was going to be your time travel episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, time travel. So, I believe that time looks like a tree. Okay. So, it's like a straight line, and then it branches out. Okay. Right? So, the line that is solid continues to grow solid, right? So, be it keeps going straight up. Because the branched out time will slowly form into one line and then just keep going, right? So no matter if you break the the solid branch, the log of time, it'll always form back into what it's supposed to be no. somehow? Oh. Uh, so everything from now to the past is a solid line and everything from now to the future is undetermined. Oh, okay. So that from the past is the solid line. Gotcha now. Yeah. So everything from now to the future is like undetermined. So that's why it's like multiple branching paths because it could be anything. But as the events begin to come together, that's when the actual branches come together and form the solid line. So it's like when I started explaining this, it was all branches right right but now that i'm at this point all of what i've already explained is a solid line because everything that then from how then is it ever branches has if already happened if it's still a solid line anyway how is it ever a branch to begin with it's not like i use that term just to like give you a visual of like there's a, there's nothing ahead of what's happening right now right so once it happens then it has happened yeah so for time travel i think that just going to the past 
is a bad idea. I think as soon as you go to the past, you don't even, it doesn't even have to be like a Marty McFly situation where it's like, oh no, I fucked my mom. It's like, as soon as you go to the past, you have destroyed the timeline. Okay. Because it is, you're not supposed to be there. Because there's no solid line for the future. Because you could, I think you can only move towards the future. And I think that if time travel tour exists, even if they had the ability to go to the past, they should not, they should only go right. to the future. So I think the main argument that I will post to you now would be that it was always meant to be, that's like that one solid line has always happened no matter what, even if that solid line had people from the future going back to the past, like that's just always how it's been. You know what I mean? So you're saying that like, since they already went back, then it would have happened. Yeah, it's always happened. See, that's what I'm saying is that that can't happen because the future hasn't happened yet. But if you can alter time, then that time that was once the present for you, I feel like even if you go back to so that... you're saying that like the past would be my future? No, I'm... Okay, I'm trying to give an example here. Like, let's just say... I don't know, me from 20 years in the future... Um, just walked up here right now, like right yeah. now, and sat down, and had a conversation with us. That will have always happened, no matter what. But it can't have happened because twenty years in the future hasn't happened yet. Yeah, but so so once it's twenty years in the future, and then you're given the opportunity to come back, you will have people would say that you would like have made a new timeline or whatever. So you're saying so twenty years from now on the day in the future when I was supposed to come back walk up these stairs, have a conversation with us. I just don't do it in 20 years. I'm saying that, like, you wouldn't, you would have never come up here and done it. Like, I'm saying that nobody will have ever gone to the past because as soon as they go to the past, even if it was like, oh, this was always supposed to be like, what happens? That's not, that can't happen because the timeline would literally just like implode on itself. Because you're, you're in a predetermined setting, but you're a new element. It's like you're an invasive species almost. Yeah. Even, even if it's like you, it would have already happened. If it had already happened, everything would have already stopped existing because you're not supposed to be there. That's not the way time works, in my opinion. Right. Well, I mean, no one could ever time travel in general anyway, but I agree on like the linear standpoint that you see time. Like, I see. I see the past is linear but the future as endless possibilities right I feel like people are like nope it's every it's either everything can happen any way you want or everything will only happen this way i think it's both i think the past will always be the past you can't change anything about the past nobody can come back and talk to themselves right because it would just it would fuck everything up also with time travel is it's technically impossible one for the sense of it's just, you can't do I'm gonna, it. I'm going to explain why I think that time travel to the future is possible, though. To the future? Yep. I think well, the future is fine. Time travel would technically exist in an interstellar standpoint, if you travel fast enough, you know, all that shit. But, like, in a sense of, like, I'm going to go at the speed of light in this direction and then come back uh, and it be this far in the future. Like, that, that, that can't happen, really. But... I'm not I'm not sure like it might be something like interstellar like where they use like speed to make it happen but I think that traveling to the future is fine but that the time moves around you so you're not physically traveling to the future instead time is happening around you so it's like I love to use this is the only time that I'd ever use it too but the uh the Back to the Future style example. So it's like, you know, um, the dog leaves at the beginning when he's testing it out. And he's gone for a minute. And then the dog's back. And he says, for us, it's been a minute. But for the dog, it's been like a second. He literally was gone and then he was here. Like, it's almost as if nothing has changed. I think it's very much the same. So it's like, when you time travel... If you go 20 years in the future, for everybody else, you're gone for 20 years. But for you, you're gone for a second. So I think that that makes it okay. So it's not that you're jumping from this point to this next point. It's more like you are somewhere else while, while all this time is happening. 
and it will have happened it will now be a solid line and then you will just have you will just now be in the future but you cannot go back you can only go forward okay okay so process that for a second i'm trying to because like i get it it's a lot easier if i can use my hands but my hands are busy doing this <laughs> yeah i know i know you gotta give your pokey decks to I, your i gotta Pokemon. keep the, the momentum going Ugh. But yes, you were saying as you're processing. Well, I'm, I was trying to think of a counter question, but I'm still trying to process that one. I can um, explain it again and try and like clear it up. I don't understand why you think that that's possible. I still don't get that. Like how I, get I, your, think, how I, get, I think it's going to be done? Yeah, I, th I get your application. Like I get what you mean by it, but I don't get how that defends your... I have no clue how it'll be done. Oh, okay. I, I don't claim to know any sort of string theory idea as to how time travel will happen. I just think that if it does and when it does, we will only go to the future. We won't ever go to the past. I think that they wouldn't want to go to the past anyway just because of, they're afraid of messing up everything up and ending the world. But uh, I think that going to the future is fine because it's, it's not predetermined. You should hear my mom when I was trying to explain my idea to her. She was like, she kept catching herself in this like logic loop where she was like, no, if you go 20 years into the future, that means you're already 20 years in the future. And I'm like, no, it literally doesn't. I just told you that future doesn't exist yet. You are out of time when you're time traveling to the future. You will be, if you leave at 22, you will show up 20 years later at 22. You will have not exist in, you will not have existed anywhere within that 20 year span. Yeah, because you you're, the one, you're you will, the one self. Yeah. You're the one self. You're not visiting yourself in the future. And I was like, and then even if you go another 20 years after that, that's also fine. So that's what was tripping her up. She's like, no, because then you'll already have existed in the past. Yeah, the past is definite. Nobody's saying it's not. I, I see. So I see. What you, I think that's a good argument, though. Like, I think that's very, because, yeah. No. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, and it totally debunks Back to the Future Part Two, pretty much. Oh yeah, because <laughs> he to goes the future to the future, and, so he, and like his existent self in the present just continues on, and while he's gone, like yeah. it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's like he like exists like beside himself. You yeah. Know? Which, if you're talking about, like, different timelines, would, that's when it would make more sense of just being like, okay, this is a timeline where you don't go fucking 20 years in the future and you're, you know, normal timeline. You're just jumping timelines into a different one. Yeah. But, yeah, I think that's a good argument. Because I'm very much on, like, there's a one line of time person, so I like the way you described the past, definitely. But I also just don't think it's possible to go to any point in time, ever. I just um, don't think it's possible. Yeah, I think eventually... Like, after intergalactic, not interplanetary mm -hmm. travel is possible. So, it will definitely be outside of our lifetime. But after, like, intergalactic travel is possible, I feel like the only way to do that really is to, you know, have wormholes. Like, there's no way you're going to be able to travel fast Which enough Which aren't to even somewhere. confirmed to exist, but... Uh, yet again, I think it's just one of those that doesn't exist yet. I think it's completely and highly possible that uh, you could open up some sort of, you know, like in uh, that movie, Wrinkle in Time, where you could just open up uh, a point in space and then have the other point in space that it opens up at just be, you know, and just pass right through. Like, yeah, I don't think that's impossible. And just completely theoretical. I mean, yeah. But, like, even in a sense of, like, okay, we could potentially do this in, like, I don't know, a thousand years. I mean, I think even that's generous. I think it'll be so far out of our lifetimes. Oh, yeah. Like, a thousand years. I mean, I don't I know. I think it would take, um, I, I think it takes about, just at what we're able to accomplish right now, speed wise in space uh Here's it, the, okay it would take about ten thousand years to get to the next nearest star or solar system yeah which is ridiculous but like makes sense i don't understand well, i guess i do kind of understand but so there's no friction in space right 
That's like the whole point. There's no friction. That's it why it's space. zero gravity. Yeah. Um, so I don't understand why they don't just have their thrusters do this uh, rapid fire like like that because with each time that the thruster the whoa the thruster the thruster every time that the thrusters would like ignite shouldn't that propel them forward more so i feel like if they did a rapid succession of those they could eventually achieve like light speed which is i'm pretty sure well that would kill it. that would humans. kill everyone no, inside no i don't think it is i'm pretty sure that there's like a theory that um like you know humans can like their bodies can withstand extremely high speed speeds that you wouldn't even think that they could withstand well not light speed but i think that they theorize that light speed is possible though i don't know i guess you do turn into light particles isn't that what happens uh but there's know, no there's no friction is the thing and friction is what would kill you by going that fast anywhere else because you would ignite because you're organic matter okay fine even if that were the case you can't just get up to light speed. I'm not saying you're like, all right, light speed, go. <laughs> I'm saying that it would be like, like like I'm saying the thruster idea. So it's like you just do rapid succession. Even if you want to just go like, you know, hundreds of thousands of miles per hour, you would just do quick rapid spurts like that. And then you would eventually propel yourself. I just don't know like one, how they would stop. To how they would, you know, plan accordingly for uh, asteroid fields and such going at that high of a speed. And three, you got to worry about fuel consumption, obviously. So I feel like that's the only things that are stopping them from doing it. But I haven't ever been able to find anywhere that's like, yeah, you could do this technically. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to get someone with a PhD on here. <laughs> it's time to call Trent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that we've done a lot. We have, I think this was like three episodes, and I think we, yeah, we're about out of time on this one, yeah, too. Yeah, I think stop so. It? Yeah, let's go ahead. All right. 